new year. Let's see if we can get some more Pokemon deals for 2024, yeah! Well, that's something you don't see every day. A lot of more Crown Zenith stuff. Uh, some Scarlet and Violet. Paradox Rift Booster Packs. Oh, look, Lorcana. <laughs> uh, let's see, we got some Chilling Rain Lost Origin. Mm, maybe I'll grab that. Oh, it comes with an Arceus pin. That's not too bad. Yeah, I'll grab a couple of those. And they also have this Charizard chest. I mean, I don't see anything like on sale. And then these are like the Rebel Clash and Fusion Strike. Don't need them. But, you know, I'll grab this Charizard tin just because I haven't opened it before. Last stop, Walmart. They usually have some stuff on sale. Usually booster packs are like $3.50, but. Eh, we'll see what they got too. That's it. I got five packs of Obsidian Flames. Everything else is empty. We got these little squished squirtles. Maybe one day. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, so Walmart was a bust. Nothing there, so I'm just gonna go back and open up this stuff that I grabbed from Target. I mean, there wasn't really anything on sale, so it is what it is for now. So we're back, and like I said, there was no deals or anything. Usually after Christmas, I seem to find some deals. It's just about an anything, but apparently not. Everyone's really cheap this year and doesn't want to give these things away for free. But anyway, so I figured I'd pick up these products. Um, this right here retails for $30, and the Chilling Rain Infusion... Sh uh, Chilling Rain and Lost Origin, my bad. Those packs were about $10. So, altogether, everything was about $53 after tax and everything. So, it's not too bad. Um, but I haven't opened up this thing. I haven't watched any videos about it. Um, so, let's see what's inside. So, not a bad overall looking lunchbox, I guess. Um, it's kind of weird that these guys are on the side of it. In case you forgot that these are from Scarlet and Violet. But, uh, interesting. I didn't realize that the terraform part of the crown had like a face on it for Charizard. That is new to me. Um, the back has the three of them. Quackavale, Skilladurge, Masquerada. And then the sides just have them, you know, nothing special. So anyway. Ooh, all right. Let's see what goodies we have. We have a terraform charizard coin that is new i don't think it's been in anything else but this box so kind of neat um and then here they're i mean they've already popped out we have yeah just the hollow forms i think from scarlet and violet regular um so just a different hollow pattern like they always are i got the quack avail you got the skeledurge and of course we got the Meowskerada. It's like they're really trying to promote these guys, you know? It's like their new sets of Pokemon or something. <laughs> so these are the packs. I was not expecting two Paradox Rift packs and two Obsidian Flames. Okay. So that's not bad at all. Um, oh, there's, okay. All right. <laughs> and two Obsidian Flames and our favorite, Paldea Evolved. Yikes. Okay. So we got just stickers. Number 911. <laughs> Skeledurge. Okay. Uh, just some neat little stickers. Uh, number 908 is Mielskareta. And number 914 is the Quackavail. Now, okay, so now we also have Charizard stickers. This is such a weird combination of like Pokemon. It's like, yeah, we get it. There's a Terraform Charizard, but okay. And then it comes with a little portfolio that, again, just so weirdly designed. Just there's like no theme. It's just Charizard plus the three starters. I forgot how many cards these hold, but yeah, that's it. That's the uh, that's the lunch box. All right, we're gonna start with these two guys. You know how I feel about them. But I can't believe it. I don't know if you guys have been keeping track, but today is the one year anniversary of this channel. So, which is really crazy to think that's already been a year since I've started. Um, I feel like it's grown a lot, you know, definitely a lot of help in the community. 
Um, you know, we're nearing 1,300 subs, which is pretty good, I think, for a year. You know, it's nothing spectacular, but I think it's pretty awesome. So who knows? Who knows where we'll go from here, you know? On to bigger and better things, I hope. So, yeah, let's see what we got in here for these guys, because... Uh, Alright, let's go. Slowpoke, Let Leo, Rockruff, Palmy, Electrode, Vigoroth, Venturin, it's a Viper, Slackoth. Oh! And we're starting off strong with a full art Dendra. Nice. Let's look at that centering. Look at this beautiful centering. Look at that nice top. That thick bottom for Dendra. Ew, perfect. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, on to pack number two. I can't believe that. I still, I'm, I mean, I still need about 500 cards from the set, and I'm pretty sure I, I definitely have that Dendra, so. <laughs> it's like, no matter how many cards you get, you're still going to need more. I don't know. It's just wild to me that the set is so big, I still have all these doubles I'm waiting for. And that pack sucked. All right, let's open up some Obsidian Flames here. I don't need a whole lot. We're still looking for that SAR Charizard. He is really, the I think, the biggest hit I need from that set. I'm not 100% sure. So we got Lorvesta, Rowlet, Stunfisk, Umbreon, Poppy, Thunderous, Phantump, and a Hollow Darkrai. There's just no way that Paldea Evolve is going to have the best hit. That's just unheard of for me. <laughs> I can't. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. All right. Here we go. Snubble. Capsicid, Drillbur, Cubchu, Stoutland, Frogadier, Drampa, Flamingo, Charmeleon, and a Gita. So yeah, wow, this is not good. This is not looking good. But that's okay. We're on to our next, or my favorite set from Scarlet and Violet, Paradox Rift. Um, why it's my favorite? I think it just has some of the better looking art that we've seen this year. Um, but that's just me. Wiglet. Gligar, Blipbug, I know everyone thinks that 151 is the set of the year, which I'm sure it will be down the line, but for me, it's this one. Dual Blade, and we got an Iron Valiant Full Art! There we go! Also, I'm just loving the patterns on these future cards. Um, they just look so cool in like, the holographic light, so... This is another reason why I think Paradox Rift is one of my favorites, just because of just like the cool patterns that we get. Wow, that's awesome. That's very awesome. Okay, last pack of Paradox Rift. Yeah, I definitely need both uh, full art versions of them still. I mean, I'm just, I might at this point just have to buy them single handedly because I cannot, I cannot pull them. Norman, Earthworm, Toad Scroll, Joltik, Fue Coco, and a Hollow Kingdra. So, eh, whatever. And as I said, I was able to grab two of these for $10 each, which is not a bad deal. Uh, considering that they come with the pin, which is cool. I've, I haven't seen this Arceus pin. And two packs for 10 bucks. I mean, that's a better deal than what you see at Walgreens, like either the Chilling Rain and uh, Evolving Skies. Those are like $13. But for these, these aren't too bad of a sets, honestly. I mean, with Chilling Rain, you have the Legendary Birds alternate arts, which are really nice. And then Lost Origin, everyone's looking for that Garatina or Aerodactyl art. So... Some pretty high hitting cards in these sets, and then for ten dollars for two packs, I mean I'll take it. It's the pins I think go for around like two or three dollars, so pretty good deal. So really in all honesty, this isn't a bad looking pin. I mean I'm not a pin collector, I don't really know what to do with these things, but these are pretty neat. Um Yeah. And then I did go ahead and just open up both packages, so I just got the two chilling rain and two lost origin packs. So we're gonna start with chilling rain. And then we'll move on to the Lost Origin and see if we can pull some crazy cards. I don't know if I ever pulled the Legendary Birds in these. I know I, I have a 10 graded um, BGS Zapdos alternate art. I think it was like one point off of a black label, which is fucking crazy, but you know, population control. Anyway, here we go. And we're not doing too good. I forgot. Yes, we have the 
these code cards, if they're green, you're fucked. So like, I don't really want to look at them though yet, because I kind of want to be surprised to see if we get anything good. I mean, I think you can still buy these packs for each for like $3 on TCG. Again, not a huge deal, and this is just going to be a crappy thing. Um, but, you know, we'll just go through it real quick. School of it, Bounce Sweet, and yeah, not Holopus Simeon. Sometimes the code cards don't matter. Sometimes they just throw in whatever they want and then call it a day, so that's why I figured we'd check just in case. But the thing with Lost Origin is you can also get Trainer Gallery cards, which is pretty nice. I don't really pull them that too, too often, so. But we did get a white code card on the back, so let's see what we can get. We got a horsey, Shuppet, Shellos, Growlithe, Ducklet, Arcanine, and we got a Thornton full art with, again, the centering. Not amazing, but pull a full art, uh, two full arts today. Two trainer full arts today is pretty good. In our last pack of the night, Lost Origin. Are we gonna get last pack magic or last pack ass? I guess we'll find out. Ooh, that's not good. We're gonna get last pack ass on this one. <laughs> Wormpede, Tynamo, C Dot, Horsey, Meditite, Wurple again. Non hollow spirit. Well, that's gonna be it for me, guys. Uh, let me know down below if you guys are like finding any good deals on Pokemon yet. Um, I thought maybe again, since the beginning of the year, they had like extra product they want to get rid of, but I guess not. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button, uh, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.